Hi Pisces, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. All right, Pisces, so, so let's take a look at who is the person on your mind currently in regards to love. Let's see what their general energy is right now towards you and towards the relationship or connection that they have with you. Let's see. All right, let's take a look. Spirit, please show me who is the person on Pisces' mind and what is their energy in regards to Pisces. We have the Four of Cups. We have the Hierophant, the Ace of Cups, the Five of Cups, the King of Cups, and the Four of Wands. You might be dealing with a Taurus or with a Water Sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, at the bottom, we have two of wands. Okay, so... This person is very much in their feelings right now. Hmm. Oh, okay, yeah, that's what I, I was feeling like an indecisiveness coming from them. Two of Wands in reverse and Two of Pentacles. They're feeling very indecisive about something. Knight of Swords, Ace of Wands. Page of Pentacles, Five of Swords. Ace of Pentacles, Temperance. Someone is not sure if they should make you an offer or not. Hmm. Hold on. I'm having trouble with this person. I'm having trouble with this person because they're just very, very indecisive here about where they want the relationship between you two to go. what their plans are, what their intentions are, what their desires are. It's like they're not clear about anything. They just feel very emotionally disconnected from you and from themselves. They're not really in tune, you know? They're not in tune with, with what they truly want, what they truly feel. It's like they think they want this new beginning in love with you. They think they want that, but they're not sure. They're not sure if, if they're just... Um, living, in an, living in an illusion. Almost, it's almost like they're not sure if they're making up their feelings for you or if they actually have feelings for you, you know? They feel like they do. They feel like they have feelings for you. They feel like they want something with you, but they're not sure. And they're not sure if it would be worth it to, to explore to, or to further explore this connection with you or relationship. 
All right, let me clarify. <clears throat> Let's clarify because this person is hard to read right now. Tell me about the King of Cups spirit. Lovers in reverse. Yeah, look at that. Five of Wands. They feel like you two um, clash too much. They feel like there's too much clashing. Um, fights, arguments, di disagreements. What's the, uh, yeah, because we do have five of cups, which is disappointment. What's, what's the five of cups? The world, okay. The world and the hermit card. So something might have ended between you two with the world card. But with the hermit card, I do feel like this person still feels drawn to you. Even if things ended between you two or fell apart. They still feel curious. It's like they still feel curious about you and about the potential between you and them. What's the uh, Four of Cups? The Moon in Reverse and the Strength card. Something might have come up to the surface with the moon in reverse. Something might have been revealed that has this person feeling like it might not be a good idea to pursue anything with you. So they are resisting with the strength card. They are resisting any taking any action. Hmm. What's the Hierophant? They know something? The Hierophant is when you know something. What's the Hierophant? Eight of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Swords, yeah. So you two might have already previously, you know, like broken up and then gotten back together and it didn't work out. So it's that's I think that's what they know. They they know what ha what has already happened between you two in the past and how something in the past didn't work out. So it's making them it's making it hard for them to believe that you know if they were to try things again with you it would it would be successful because it wasn't successful in the past. Or if this is not you, then it's then they're thinking about somebody else that they experienced a similar situation with. What's the uh, two of pentacles over there, spirit? Two of pentacles. Chariot? Yeah, they don't know if to move forward or not chariot and the eight of swords in reverse so they're very indecisive in regards to whether they should just abandon this connection or relationship with you and move forward on their own or if they should give this another try you know like another attempt For some reason, this person feels like they tried with you and it didn't work out, so. But, but they still have feelings for you though with the King of Cups. They still feel something for you and it's making them feel tempted to reignite something with you. Yeah, because we do have the four of wands in reverse, so this is all about a, a failed relationship. Again, I don't know if that's with you or with another person. I feel like it's with you. So they're thinking about it here. They're thinking about... They're thinking about reaching out to you and they're thinking about... Or they're thinking about like taking action towards you 
and having a new beginning with you. Okay. I think that's... They're taking their time, though, with the hangman and the page of cups. You know, I feel like they are being very slow here. They, they, they're trying not to rush. They're doing a lot of deep thinking and, like, deep meditating, deep analyzing. This is someone who's scared to make a mistake. They're scared to experience failure again. So they're taking their time to... to make sure that this is what they really want because right now they're very indecisive. Hmm. All right, well, let's look at your side of things, Pisces, and then we'll look at um, their feelings. All right, Spirit, please show me the current energy that Pisces has in regards to this person and the connection or relationship. Okay, first card for you, Pisces, in regards to your energy, current energy, Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We have the Fool that flipped out, Queen of Pentacles in reverse, Ten of Cups, Page of Swords, so the Hierophant, the Ten of Wands, and the Judgment card. Let's see at the bottom, we have Five of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Fool, come here, fool. All right. Five of Pentacles, Temperance, Five of Cups. Hmm. So you're curious too. That's interesting. We have two people that are curious about each other here. We have the Page of Swords, so you're kind of watching them too, or like, Thinking about them too, feeling curious about them too. Wondering about them, you have a lot of questions here. Unanswered questions. You do feel unfinished business with this person, with the Ten of Wands. But look at these fives, Five of Pentacles and the Five of Cups. Um, you've it looks like you've been disappointed here within this relationship with this person. The lovers is in reverse. You're disconnected from them. Six of Wands, Knight of Swords, Five of Wands, Nine of Swords. Page of Pentacles, King of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles. Hold on, Pisces. Okay, you, you're mirroring each other, Pisces. That's what's happening. In case you didn't know, I'm here to tell you. you. You two are mirroring each other. How you feel is how they feel. There, there, there's a lot about this situation or this relationship, this person that has left a bad taste in your mouth. You know, that has left you feeling unhappy and, you know, feeling unsatisfied, unfulfilled. But there is something that still makes you feel attracted to them, makes you, makes you think about them.
it's like a like a seed like there's there's still a seed inside of you that that feels desire that still feels desire to experience progress with this person or growth with this person tell me about the page of swords yeah look at that death in reverse so it's it's heavy on you it's it's feeling this this feeling of unfinished business is feeling heavy for you what's the page of swords the hermit card yeah this is the same card and the same energy that your person got it's like there's there's this little there's this little bit of light, you know, that, that this person has that makes you feel attracted to them. There's something that you really like about this person. Maybe there's, you know, 20 things or like 10 things, maybe I'm exaggerating. 10 things that you don't like about this person, but there's one thing that you do like about them and, and it's strong enough to hold your interest, you know? Or to, or to keep you feeling drawn to them or keep you feeling attracted to them or curious about them. I hope that makes sense. Why is the Queen of Pentacles in reverse? Eight of Wands and the King of Cups. Yeah, I feel like you do, you would like to receive communication from this person. I feel like you don't know how you would react or, you know, what you would do if they were to reach out or communicate in some kind of way. But I still feel like you're waiting for it. You know, I still feel like you're waiting for that communication because I do feel like you have a lot of unanswered questions, unresolved feelings. So there is this energy of you wanting at least closure, you know, if, if that's all that can happen, then I feel like there is a part of you that would like to at least have closure, even if you two don't repeat anything with the judgment in reverse. Because I don't feel like you necessarily want to repeat something with this person. I don't feel like you necessarily want to repeat something with this person. It looks more like you want to heal. Heal something with this person, if that makes sense. Hmm. Why is that fool here, spirit? The fool of... The fool that came out in the beginning. Ooh, four of cups. Look at that. Same energy as your person. What else? And the justice card in reverse. Yeah, something just feels very out of balance between you two. With the justice in reverse and the four of cups. So there might be some sort of underlying, you know, in incompatibility between you two. You two might have like different values or, you know, different perspective about things, different personalities in some way, in, 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 in important ways, you know. Two people can have different personalities and be together, but, you know, it's, it's about sometimes the things that you two don't, share equally are big things, you know, are things that can make or break the relationship. I feel like that's what's happening here. I feel like you two have certain differences in your personalities that, that cause a big impact. On, on the relationship, you know? Because you're not, you don't have the same languages. You don't understand each other. 
You can't relate with each other on, on things that are important that you should relate on. If that makes sense. So I just feel like there's these, there's something essential that's missing here between you two. There's, there's common, it's like there's, there's not enough common ground if that makes sense. Oh, okay. So let's take a look at the, I think we can just take a look at the outcome because I feel like I already saw everything I needed to see. Your person had a lot of cup cards, which does represent feelings. You know what, let me take a look at the feelings very quickly here. Let me just take a deeper look at your person's feelings for you. Just to kind of make sure. Because I do feel like they're hiding something, but I'm not sure what. All right, Spirit, please tell me what are this person's current feelings for Pisces, whoever it is that Pisces is connecting to. Thank you, Spirit. see what are your person's current feelings for you we have justice in reverse there it is again tower ten of swords four of cups again wheel of fortune and the ace of wands all right so this is definitely the same energy here magician eight of cups page of wands This is like someone who has one foot in and one foot out, you know? Yeah, it's like their intention here was to walk away with the Eight of Cups. I feel like at some point they made up their mind to walk away. But with the Four of Cups and the Wheel of Fortune, I feel like there is this is an energy of them second guessing themselves and you know rethinking their decision to to walk away. Because with the Ace of Wands, this person still feels that desire to to reconnect with you. And it does look like kind of a closure energy. Also, I feel like this person might also want closure at, at, at the very least, you know, um, kind of like you were showing up. So you two are mirroring each other in that aspect as well. Because I do feel like this person feels like something was very unfair with the justice card in reverse. Something might have happened too quickly with the tower card, too quickly or just too, too spontaneously or like something was just too intense. Something happened, an ending with the 10 of swords it was a, an intense ending or a quick ending. And it's like they haven't fully processed. They haven't fully processed what happened between you two. And I feel like this person feels like they need to reconnect with you because they need to kind of feel better. Feel better about whatever happened between you two. And it's, yeah, look at the Five of Wands, Empress, yeah. Almost like they have a guilty conscience to a certain extent. 
they feel they feel bad about how things fell apart and i feel like they just want to with the wheel of fortune they want to feel lighter you know because right now they're feeling very heavy and it's like they they want to lighten themselves up by releasing whatever guilt that they have or whatever negative emotion that they have or thoughts in regards to you and, and whatever happened with you. Almost like they just wanna clear the air and it feels like they wanna clear the air and move on to be honest. What's the Ace of Wands? Yeah, look at that nine of swords and the knight of wands in reverse yeah they feel they feel horrible about this ending they feel horrible about this ending what's the four of cups yeah three of pentacles is in the reverse so they feel like you two maybe had a misunderstanding with each other. You two had some kind of uh, arguments or disagreement with each other and it looks like things got out of control with the tower card. And it looks like they just want to bring back, bring back the balance here. What's the Wheel of Fortune? Look at that Five of Cups in reverse and the Knight of Cups. I do feel like this person wants to apologize about something Pisces. They do. They want to apologize or like they just want to make things right. What does this person want with Pisces? Because I'm still not quite getting it. I feel like this person doesn't really know what their real goal is apart from just making things right, you know? What does this person want with Pisces? Or desire with Pisces, please? Oh, okay. We have the Empress, huh? Okay, what else? Wow. The Empress and the Hierophant. So it's kind of like, if it's a possibility, if you are interested, this person would like to nurture, further nurture the relationship with you and they want to experience growth and progress with you. If it's possible, they would like to experience commitment with you, with the Hierophant. Um, and that can, this can even be marriage, okay? Okay, so I feel like that's their attitude. It's almost like, you know, or and death card, it's like to transform, completely transform the relationship, almost like start over again, you know, start over from scratch, start over from the beginning with the moon card and the six of wands in reverse. But it's kind of like that energy, uh, it's an energy of if, if you would be willing, Pisces, you know, if you're interested. You know, if, if you still feel desire here for them, then they would like to progress things with you and reach a level of commitment with you. If not, then they would settle with just having closure, you know, and making things right with you and having a better, you know, having a better outcome with you. Having a, a positive closure with you, where you two could at, could at least be friends, you know. All right, Pisces. So that's what I see. I hope this um, 
helped you in some way and I hope it uh, resonated. If it did resonate, please give me a thumbs up and thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys, take care.